Once you are connected to the CT and you have finished with the CT nameplate, you can use the run all tests feature to perform an overall test of the CT. It is very easy to use. For that, click on run all tests. In this case, we will be testing a 5-tab CT. We can select all the saturation, ratio, and winding resistance tests, as well as the insulation resistance tests for primary to secondary, primary to ground, and secondary to ground. We can change the voltage on the insulation resistance tests either individually or for all ranges at once. We must select each of the insulation resistance tests that we want to perform. We can also choose to perform all tests concurrently or non-concurrently. Ideally, we'd perform the test concurrently which leads to significant gains in testing time. After we've selected all the tests that we want to perform, we click on the test button which brings the connection diagram and uh, after we've checked that our connections are correct, we can hit the test button again and the tests are performed starting with insulation, primary to secondary, primary to ground, and uh, secondary to ground, followed by the winding resistance tests where we are injecting a regulated current reading the voltages and calculating the uh, corresponding resistances. After the winding resistance test, which is a DC test, we run a demagnetization procedure to make sure that we are in good shape for uh, the saturation curve test, which comes after this one. Here we are measuring the saturation curve of all the windings at the same time. After the saturation curve is finished, we run another demagnetization procedure and then we go ahead and run the ratio tests. Here again we are measuring the ratio of all the windings at the same time. After we are done with the tests, we are presented with a report that contains all the relevant information. It is a NERC compliance report and can be printed and handed out to the customer. This concludes our support video for today.